The second stage of tire processing is to cleanly separate the steel from the rubber using a CM Liberator and Steel Reclaim System. Pre-shredded tires 4 to 6 inches in size are the feed stock for the CM Liberator. The Liberator does an exceptional job at ripping and pulling the steel out of the tire shred. The liberated material discharges to a vibrating conveyor to loosen the mix, then passes under a strong belt magnet which lifts the steel away from the rubber. The wire-free rubber is discharged and is now ready for resale. The size of this material ranges from 1 and 3 quarters down to minus 5 eighths of an inch. The rubber can now be dyed and used for mulch and playground cover. It can be used as TDF for pulp and paper mills, power plants and pyrolysis processes or can be sent downstream for further processing into smaller granulates. As the material passes under the belt magnet, the material will be further processed, separating the rubber from the steel using the CM Steel Reclaim System. The steel is conveyed to the long vibrating wire screen that will further agitate and separate the steel and rubber. The material will then pass under a second drum magnet and is discharged. The clean steel is ready for resale. Any steel that still has rubber attached will be sent back to the liberator to be processed again. This is what CM refers to as zero waste processing. This closed loop system ensures that all of the rubber and steel are cleanly separated. This high grade steel is a profitable revenue stream for the processor, in addition to the rubber resale markets. Tire recyclers will maximize their profits and greatly reduce waste to landfill. Seen here, the steel is exceptionally clean and has less than 3 to 5% contaminant by weight.